day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Let me it's, throw not, little, it's not our responsibility. Yeah, let me throw a little parable on that piece on that but catch that fish. How are you catching that fish? With a with a hook and a line, or you're catching it with a net. And the reason I said net, you create you catch it with a net work. That's all I want to throw in there. That's all. Okay, but the, the you catch it. You you catch it by both ways. I mean, I mean, there's there's no set form. You know, the wind blows. Well, you know, the fact is, the reason I'm saying that is because I'm using, I'm trying to stick in line with his parable that he gave when he said, uh, "I'm gonna make you fishers of men." Of men. And he was going by how Peter and them were catching fish was by the net, the net work. And the reason I'm trying to tell that is, there's a net work. You know, like you have networking, right? Yeah unto life. In other words, we're not doing it individually. Mm -hmm. We're doing it collectively in a Christian network. Yeah. Because greater, we can do greater things as one than we can as an individual fisherman. Because you're not a fisherman if you're just catching one fish at a time. Because you're not providing for other people, you're only providing for yourself. Mm -hmm. But a fisherman, uh, uh, I mean, if that's your, you know, if that's somebody's occupation, they don't, they're not fishing for one fish. They're, they're, they're using nets to grab multitudes. Yeah. And then, like you said, what they do is they, they weed them out. Really, like the real fishermen today. Yeah. They throw things back once they get them on the boat. You know, man, I'm in Bible study. Y'all leave me alone. Huh? Hey, look, here's another one, though. I wonder the third one that the, the all-time parable was the sower. Oh, hold on, Pastor. Okay. Y'all go ahead. I'm going to mute y'all for a second. Okay. Elf, Elf, <clears throat> what, I wanna, what I'm throwing at you is this. I like the parable, the all, the, the mother of all parables, because I wanted to throw this in to let you think about this. The sower, so is the word. Right? Mm -hmm. Some of his words is sown on good ground. We agree with that. Mm -hmm. But some are based thrown on the wayside. Some are thrown in, uh, on, 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 on rocks or places that didn't have much soil in it. Mm -hmm. Some are thrown in thorns. Right? Mm -hmm. In other words, sound like to me, he's telling me, I, I want you to sow, and I want you to sow everywhere, mm -hmm. whether it's good ground or not. Go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. In any circumstances, you see yep. my point? In it, season, out of season. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. so, do you back, brother? Allison? Yeah, I'm back. I, 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 I shifted on you a little bit because that that parable about the fisherman is in the Bible. Yeah. It's kind of in, uh, the fact they do throw fish out when they go through, when they sort them out. Yeah. But but the other one was I thought I wanted you to think about this is the, the mother of all parables, which is the sower. And, and and I want I want you to visualize yourself as the sower right now. And I'm asking you, what God is trying to say to me is, if you the sower, you. You sowing. You, I, mm -hmm. I want you to visualize yourself right now in the field based, sowing. Based on this, this parable? This parable. You are sowing. You got your hat on, your straw hat on, you got your bag, and you got your seeds in the bag. Uh -huh. I'm asking you the question is, how did you throw seed in the thorns bush? How did you throw well, seed in, you see what I'm saying? Is, and it was yeah, yeah. Well, the, the seed... This particular seed is the resources are endless. So, so, so why, so why did you throw them in the thorn bush? Because because of what? That's a good one, ain't it? Well, in my mind, I'm I'm just picturing myself. You in the field? 
I'm 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 in the field. And you got and, sometimes you got, uh, some, you got thorns nearby. I'm, I'm sowing seeds. And uh but this particular field okay, is not this field. This, this field that I'm I'm looking at based on this parable. Based on this parable. Is is not a plowed field. It's not oh. a field prepared for this particular seed. I think I like what you're saying. This, I like this, it. this field is in a fallen state. Okay. Now, so, and apparently, apparently you got some, does it sound like what you say that some of it is that you must be cultivating it at the same time you sowing throwing seed out? No, I'm saying that this, it doesn't matter. The, the field isn't cultivated. Well, it's a know. field. But how does some get on good ground? Because some of the ground in a field is good uh -huh. ground. Is it, it's, it's just grass or something? That's there's, how you stand it? Grass, there's, there's, there's open ground, there's, there's rock, there's stony ground, there's, there's, there's stony ground, and then there's grounds where thorns and thistles. Yes, sir. You know, and then there's a uh, ground where there's open space, and I'm just you tossing. Just, you tossing, that's what I'm saying. You, you know, it. there is it's in such abundance. Yes. You know, <laughs> that it doesn't matter. I'm just sown. Okay. I'm just going along. Yeah. And I'm sown. But now, now, what was that? Like I am Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, As I go good. along, yes, sir. I'm just planting seed. And some of it is like I said, good field that, that the is no there's like grass maybe and it and allow yeah. the or, seed or it to be a a field just right for 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 growing. In other words, it's not and, tough ground and stuff like that. Yeah. But now, let me see. As that soil, you visualize yourself on a not on a hot day. Can't you tell whether you got thorns and thistles and and, and so hard ground? Well, I mean, you look. You are, would you are you just flinging it out there? You just what, what would I'm you? Just, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just spreading the seed. Woo. And and the seed is going to do what it's going to do. Are you paying attention uh, to what you're doing? Am I paying attention? Yeah. I'm, I'm sowing that. seed. I'm so just, you, you I'm, just I'm just I'm just sowing seed. You, and you look <laughs> and and letting nature take its course. So because you, yeah. you know uh there's a God said if 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 he feeds the birds of the air, you know, how, how are they getting feed? So, I mean, that immediately it says that the birds came and, and, and ate, you know. Yeah, yeah, you, you're not even protecting your seed. You're, Look, you're, not, seed, farm, you're not a real good farmer then, are you? No, I'm a great farmer. So, so you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> you know because what? I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out how you put the stuff in the thorny ground and the hard ground. And then you got some good ground, and you got you got birds coming in, coming after your seed. What, what are you but, doing? But this is but this is the thing. I'm not told what kind of ground to sow the seed. So you're not conscious of the ground, is what you're trying. No, to do. no, no, okay. no. Okay. I <laughs> am not instructed <laughs> to sow the seed on a particular <sighs> ground. Oh, my okay. instructions is <laughs> to sow the seed. So <laughs> I'm sowing the seed. He just out there, Elder. He says out there. That's interesting. Hey, look. If 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 uh, if the seed wasn't sown the way it was sown. Yes, sir. Come on. Would we be here? Come on. Sowing the seed. So to me, and, and I like that the parable, and I only thing I was saying that I think that you as a sower, you in that field, you know you was throwing in the thorns, but you 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 say, like, I'm trying to reach the ground where the thorns are. Uh, and, and, and I'm trying to reach the hard, I'm trying to get to a point where I will get to the hard ground and maybe I can break it up and, and allow those things to take root. However, I think you're conscious, and, I, and this is to me, for that parable, I think the person is conscious of what they're doing because the expectation is one man sow, one man water, 
but God is the one who's going to give the increase. Okay. That, that's so annoying. So going it, in is, the hard ground. Is that is that always good ground? Well, I think I think no, it's not always good ground because the so if if that's not talking about good ground, if if a man sow it and then a man water and then God brings forth the increase, that's not good ground to me. That's good ground. Well, let's let's say, but remember, like I said, we we're, were sticking with the line of another parable. The seeds are choked because of the cares of this world, and the seeds yeah. of riches. In other words, there's things that is going after that word. Okay, just like real life. I'm talking about. In other words, you don't care whether it's Donald Trump that you're sowing the seed to. You don't care whether it's the crib you're sowing that seed to. You want to sow that seed and hope that God would get an increase out of that ground, but you know exactly what you're sowing. And the reason why I'm saying that's important because I think as us bringing that parable to the real world, yeah, is well, I want to you to limit gospel, Elder, which is what you're going see, out in the streets to do. If you I, sow in this seed, your purpose to sow this seed is to sow it to every nation. There you go, brother. There you go. So it's those thorny grounds are a nation you are that needs that seed. Now, oh, whether oh, that stony that, that that stony ground accepts the seed, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's up to the stony ground. It, it's up to them. But the it, seed needs it. It has to be sown. Yeah. And, uh, to agree, uh, and to agree, sometimes it's going to need to be cultivated when it can. And I think that's yeah. what you're talking about ministries and equipping the saints to do the work in the ministry. It's but a pastor, cultivation piece that happens. Have you have you have you seen a seed germinate in the in the rock? Because I have, yeah. and I've seen a seed split a rock. Okay. That's breaking up a stony heart. Well, yeah, if I've ever you, seen one. Because yeah. you see, in other words, you can see in nature, the, the, the it can it can from moss and all that other stuff can just go over top of it, right? Bushes and stuff can leaves, branches can grow over something, mm -hmm. and, and 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 grab roots on the other side. If it, yeah, it, it, nature has a way. To, yeah, you know, I've seen a watermelon grow the watermelon itself the vine was going through a chain link fence come on now and the watermelon grew come on. around come on the, the chain link to where it's it surrounded the link on both sides right. it embedded itself into yeah it. yeah well the the, the it, it surrounded the link okay the link it, fence the link came inside of it in other words yeah, it, grew, it, it, grew it just grew it. around yeah. it yeah. so on both sides yeah. But uh, the this, same this, as your your cracks in your your uh, driveway, right? And they and, and, and grass and stuff comes yeah. through the cracks. So, yeah. so this is what we used to do as, as kids. We used to take like uh, the pinto beans or the red beans. Yes, sir. And we used to uh, grab some pot. Come on. And we Come put on. it in a little dish. Uh -huh. and we put water on it, we put the bean on it, we put the bean, with, you know, we put all that underneath the cabin. Yes, sir. And let it germinate, you know, uh -huh. that little shoot come out. Uh -huh. And then the little stock comes up and, and the bean is, is separated and it gets about <laughs> that tall. Come on now. You know, but it only grows about that tall. Because it, it, it ain't pulling out, it's not getting enough nourishment. To do or, or the root. I mean, you can keep putting water or whatever. It's just not going to. It's, it's not going to last. Yeah, because the land is not. You're right. Because the real soil gives it the fuel and you know the food. Yeah, that but is your needs. the only way it maintains it, it it actually grows to that particular point is because it's in the dark, like it's in the grain. Yeah, but and it, so as soon as you expose that to light and you leave it out there, okay, and it's exposed to that light, then those roots don't don't uh, 
uh, they're not able to handle it and, and, the, and it dies. But well, if you said, take it right. and you transplant it into soil, then it grows. It will continue to grow. Yes, sir. So I think that is a reason to to sow on stony ground. Well, that's another because yeah. it could that seed could be transplanted after exactly. it starts to grow and yeah. put in good soil right. and continue uh, to to manifest until it brings forth fruit. Some right. thirty, because some think, sixty. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the reason I'm throwing that at you was, and I will bring that to reference to the people listening, is a sower is a farmer and a farmer cultivates mm -hmm. his land. You, like you said, is okay, this is my land and I'm gonna start off this way, but eventually I'm gonna put this thing where I protect my soil, I fertilize my land. You know what I mean? I move the rocks out. Isn't that what farmers do? They, they move things out of the way that's interfering with their harvest because yeah. they're looking for a hundred fold. And see, as long as I got these thorns in here, I can't get a hundred fold. As long as I got these rocks in, in my in my 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 garden, I can't get the hundredfold. So he's gonna move that stuff, right? That's what a farmer does. Mm -hmm. That's why he breaks the land and, and, and get the plow out and, 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 and cultivate. Yeah. But my point is that's what the church is supposed to do. And then on top of that, for the people who's listening, while saying that, well, see, there's 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 some thorny grounds in us social injustice there's this you see what i'm saying is if they're police officers that there, there's some stony ground there then more there's, there's more or less hard uh, thorns thorns, thorns in it. i'm just throwing it out there in our society we have some things that try to choke the word of god yeah but he's saying and the reason i'm bringing that for everybody to listen is you as a sower you're still going to sow, even in that soil, even in that area, because you got a purpose of getting a harvest, and you're not going to discriminate where you put your seed. And that's what I'm trying to say, the gospel of dealing with social injustice is you have to do it his way. And his way is I'm going to sow into the hearts of man, regardless of their occupation, regardless of the color of their skin, Regardless if they accept it or not. Hey, regardless, because one man sow, one man water the elder, but God gives the increase. So we're trying to affect the heart of man. And I still believe that if we do it God's way, you're going to do that. Now, 